The deterioration of concrete bridges due to chloride contamination is a major problem for highway departments throughout the country. The problem is compounded by cutbacks in state highway maintenance budgets and the need to make repairs quickly. Cost and time-effective treatments are needed to minimize the life cycle cost for concrete bridge protection, repair, and rehabilitation. Sharp C-103 has been examining existing techniques used to protect, repair, and rehabilitate concrete bridge components, and developing some new techniques. The research is concentrating on techniques that allow as much of the existing salt-contaminated concrete as possible to remain in place. Additionally, C-103 has been developing innovative approaches to concrete removal methods and rapid bridge deck protection and rehabilitation in urban areas. Dr. Richard Wires of Virginia Tech heads up the research and development of the C-103 field guide. The objective of the project is to determine what the service life is and the cost of existing techniques, to identify improvements that can be made in existing techniques, and to develop new techniques for the corrosion protection and rehabilitation of concrete bridges. The product of this research is a field guide designed to aid bridge and maintenance engineers in the selection of the most cost-effective treatment method for chloride-contaminated concrete bridges. The guide available in March of 1993 addresses four major topics. Concrete removal, rapid bridge deck repair and protection, conventional substructure and deck rehabilitation methods, and newly developed rehabilitation methods. Before any treatment can begin, however, the present chloride contamination condition of the bridge must be determined. The C-103 field guide covers standardized testing procedures for doing this. These tests include corrosion potentials, concrete cover depths, chloride content of the concrete, and corrosion rates. Once the chloride contamination condition is evaluated, the field guide contains specifications, procedures, cost data, estimated service lives, and application limitations for each procedure. Information that will assist highway personnel in achieving the best construction product possible. The concrete removal section of the field guide covers techniques such as handheld pneumatic chippers and hammers, milling machines, and hydro demolition. The section on rapid deck repair and protection methods for urban areas covers conventional rapid patching materials, sealers, and thin polymer overlays. Conventional rehabilitation techniques covered in the field guide include patching, sealers, coatings, and encasement for sub- and superstructure components. For decks, patching, sealers, and overlays, such as low slump-dense concrete, latex modified concrete, membrane bituminous concrete, and microsilica concrete are covered. Perhaps one of the most important sections of the field guide addresses new rehabilitation techniques now in development. In new techniques, what we looked at are our primary corrosion inhibitors. And we would like to apply these corrosion inhibitors in a situation where the, the steel is corroding but it's not damaged and remove as little concrete as possible. So we are developing new techniques where you come in and scarify or mill the concrete down to the top of the rebar, apply the corrosion inhibitor as a ponding process um, so that we supply the corrosion inhibitor to, to the bar right away at that phase. We give it a, a little jolt right away to help reduce that act of corrosion. Then we will include a corrosion inhibitor in that concrete that will be available to continue to diffuse around the rebar and continue to provide like a maintenance level of inhibitor for a life of the structure. While the C-103 field guide supplies a comprehensive manual for concrete bridge repair and rehabilitation, what it also provides is cost savings. We have the duty, essentially, as a profession to minimize the cost to our clientele, which is in fact the public. And that's the whole directive of this particular research, is to try to minimize, come up with techniques that minimize cost and also minimize interference. The C-103 field guide will be available in March of 1993 as a strategic highway research program publication. <laughs>